Hello, my friends, it's February 9th, 2017, and it's time for today's big story. One of the very first features I did for today's big story was one about a rumored animated project coming from Freighterator that was tied to some sort of video game franchise, and there was a lot of discussion about it being related to Nintendo. And while it still is, now we know that it's not a Nintendo franchise. Uh, yesterday, we found out that Castlevania is coming to Netflix. It's going to be animated. Uh, but today we learned a whole bunch of new details and we got some uh, really big excitement from the producer. So Castlevania is indeed coming to Netflix. It's an animated series. Part 1 is going to be coming this year. No specific date yet and there's a four part season. So four episodes I guess and each episode is going to be about 30 minutes long. Uh, and if you're wondering, it's going to be an adaptation of Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse which was on the NES. Um, and the second season is going to follow sometime in 2018. So that's great. I'm all about Castlevania. I love animated stuff. Uh, Castlevania 3 is one of my favorite entries in the franchise, so I'm really down for this. But then the producer comes around and he starts talking about it. And <laughs> he's really amped up about it, but he, he makes me worried about the project too. Producer Adi Shankar says, This is very much Castlevania done in the vein of Game of Thrones. Warren Ellis added so much depth to the material. The series is going to be R-rated as F. This is going to be the best effing video game adaptation we've had to date. I, I get the excitement and like uh, they, uh, I understand that he wants to you know get people pumped up but uh, I understand there's gonna be violence in this and yeah it's it's Castlevania so there should be violence but I never think of Castlevania as like you know uber bloody uber gory uber mature like yeah there's mature elements in there I, I just don't want this to be like blood for blood's sake and you know maybe nudity for nudity's sake and whatever I, I hope it's really well written that's what I want to see I just don't want it to be like we're gonna go for that mature rating because it's it's gonna have boobs and blood Devil Rising on Go Nintendo says I'm not sure R rated as F is necessarily a good thing in my experience it often is not and Castlevania games while dark and violent to a degree have never been R rated as F yeah that's kinda what I was saying um you know, they have their moments, certainly, but that, I wouldn't say that's the overall vibe of the franchise. Uh, dark and brooding and, you know, monsters and mystery and that, and adventure and that kind of stuff. That's what I want to see. Uh, I'm not worried about the project. Uh, you know, the, these comments just didn't rub me the right way, but I'm, I'm, still, I'm still excited for it. And Frederator's been involved with so many awesome animated projects, so that right there gives me a lot of hope. All right, my friends, that's today's big story for February 9th, 2017. Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing and commenting. It's very much appreciated. I'll be here for whatever tomorrow's big story is, and I hope you will be too. So until then, have a lovely evening, have a lovely day, and I will see you soon. Hey guys, RMC here from Go Nintendo. If you like what you saw in the video, why don't you give us a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe. We'd love to have you. If you want to see what else we're up to, you can check out GoNintendo.com for 24-hour Nintendo news. You can visit us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash GoNintendo. You can check us out on Twitter at Twitter.com slash GoNintendoTweet. And we're even over on Instagram at Instagram.com slash GoNintendo. I put all the links in the description just to make it easier for you guys to follow. Thanks a lot!